Hi, welcome back everybody. So far our trophy hunting series is going well. As you see, we have landed the trophy roach and we have taken that off the off the uh, off the card. And this is what I caught it on. So we did have um, common roach ground bait, just standard common roach ground bait. 3.2 liter size six hook. And I think the secret here was the mayfly larva. I've been trying different things and um, you can obviously catch roach on a lot of different baits. Let's see what we have on the other two lines here and I'll kind of describe how it's been going. All right, so this has been worm and it's been fine. It obviously will catch a range of fish, fish here, uh, roach being one of them. Let's go ahead and load this back up with some more roach mix. And let's switch this, because one thing I didn't get to try yet that I thought I would would be cheese. So let's try cheese here as well. Trying to pick the baits that have a, have a higher likelihood of catching the big roach, not just any roach. Because obviously something like pearl barley, peas even, they're gonna catch a lot of roach. And I think that's a gibble. So this was the surprising part to me. I thought that the trophy roach bait here was going to be bark beetle larva. But it's, it's actually catching a lot more gibble than roach. So at, at other lakes, other places, you will catch a lot of big roach on the bark beetle larva. But I think here at Mosquito, at least right now where I'm fishing... Um, this might be the secret to getting the, the roach trophy is using the, uh, the mayfly larva. At least that's what the trophy came on for me. Like I said, I've had, I've kind of been cycling through a few different baits. I mean, if you're just trying to catch volume of roach, I think pearl barley and, um, even peas are really good. But trying to zero in on the really la the largest roach possible, and that's a crucian. I was thinking during the day the bark beetle larva might start picking up on on roach as well, but so far it's just it's just too many uh, crucian and gibbles in this spot that are go gobbling up those bark beetle. So um, so uh, here we are at Mosquito 4563. Uh, this is actually a really nice spot to fish just overall and has been for the past month, month and a half. Um, there's a roach on cheese. I'm thinking cheese might be a good option as well. I don't know if it'll be as good as the, as the mayfly. We'll see if this is another roach. I mean, so far I'm catching 100% roach here on the mayfly larva. I'm just not sure there's anything else in the water that really likes the mayfly larva here. But if you don't have mayfly larva, I think you can, you'd still be able to do it um, with some of these other baits. Because we are catching some nice roach on other baits as well. Yeah, we're just getting gibbles and crucians on these. All right, let's switch this one to, um, I guess we could go peas for a minute just while we're finishing up this video. Uh, and see how fast the bite rate, rate is on peas. In my experience at uh, Mosquito, peas usually does a relatively good job of catching common roach. But I just was shocked at how fast the mayfly larva landed that trophy. And, and really what I did was I looked at the overall mosquito records. And this one right here showed up. And this is 2019, beginning of June. And so I thought, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's a hint. And, uh, and, and really, there's some across many maps you'll see um, the mayfly larva show up for roach. But... I just, I think when people think of like trophy bait for roach, it's usually like bark beetle larva, yeah, some of the other larvas as well. And then also just like worms and cheese and peas. I mean, sometimes those are the baits. So at least for me, I don't think mayfly larva first, but I'm glad I checked that because that ended up being what brought in the roach. And look at this bite rate on the mayfly larva. I mean, it is far surpassing the bite rate on anything else. Um... So yeah, I can't recommend the mayfly larva enough. Again, size six hook. For what it's worth, I'm doing a seven clip. 
So I'm basically trying to land the bait sort of in this area between the lilies because that's really, we know that's a hot spot for fishing in general right now. Crucians and gibbles and common roach, all three species are here in excess. And so it seems like my instinct to come here was a good one and uh, and thankfully stumbled upon the mayfly larva. So there is a roach. So cheese is, is so far catching roach pretty well um, also. But I'll tell you the average size that I've seen on mayfly larva has definitely been higher so far. It would take a longer amount of time to really test that, I guess, to, to make sure. But I'm really starting to think that, so we're on three baits right now that I think we're gonna catch almost 100% roach on these three baits. So this should give us a pretty good chance to see trophies coming out when we're seeing, um, when we're seeing so many roach in general. But that was just an early morning trophy roach on mayfly larva. And we can now, thanks for the follow song for life, I appreciate it. We can now mark um, one more fish off the trophy list as our roach comes in. So just to finish mosquito, hey, if anybody has any suggestions, I am all ears. I, I might try off the camp with worms. I know I've caught perch in the past, um, sort of accidentally, off camp with worms. So that may be the first place I try next time I, I go for uh, one of these series with, with the trophies. But um, yeah, if you've seen any trophy perch at Mosquito lately, feel free to give, give me any ideas you have. Um, would love to uh, would love to go ahead and knock mosquito off, but yeah, we're we're the time of day it is and the baits we're using, we are getting just a hundred percent roach now. Again, an opportunity I've caught a couple to turn into live bait fish, so always looking for for those opportunities if you are a higher level player and trying to use those to go for some of the pred the the in game predator fish or the larger predator fish. So it's been a really nice bite rate, and once again, we did not have to wait long for this trophy. It came in really quick. I don't know that we got a weekly like we did on the frog. I'm assuming we didn't on that roach, but, uh, but it certainly was a nice one. And for low-level players, I mean, mayfly larva may or may not be in stock here at Mosquito. I don't know, but... Um, this is not a bad money farm either. Uh, you've got pretty frequent common roach orders here at Mosquito. And when you're able to dial in like this and catch this type of percentage of marker roach, um, like we have, yeah, there's a smaller one. I really think mayfly larva is gonna be where it's at. Um, and, and the roach may get smaller. The bite rate may slow down a little bit and we get to the heat of the day, I don't know. But for early morning, that was pretty, pretty cool. And I've always thought that peas just work really well. I don't usually catch small roach on peas at Mosquito. Um, and that is a bait that's, I think, always, at least that I've seen, been in stock here at Mosquito. So, again, I mean, the key here is small leader, large hook, size 6 hook. So we're trying to, we're trying to um, get rid of as many of the small ones as we can focus in on the large roach and it's still a decent bite rate we're using loop rig i believe the first rod is set up as inline it is so we've got one inline two loop rig the trophy came in on a loop rig though for what that's worth all right i will not belabor the point some nice roach coming out and I've always thought that if you can target larger size roach as a leveling player, I think they're pretty underrated. I mean, we tend to focus more on the crucian and gibbles at Mosquito, but um, it is not a bad strategy if you find a good, a good bed of roach and that are decent size. Uh, you can certainly make some silver early on and some decent experience for really low levels. I was hoping we would see one more here. Let's dig up something special here for the video. Got a dung beetle. There we go. I knew we wouldn't have to wait long. 
It, it is just, they are jumping on the mayfly larva. There's another nice one. I, I think we could sit here. That's 614 grams. I think we can sit here. We probably get two or three trophy roach a day is my guess. I mean, I, I got one really early, just like I did with the frog. That could be just random good luck, but uh, it seems like right now that is working really well. I just want to show you just like 10 minutes of fishing there, what we're looking at silver wise, just to kind of make that point. I mean, the frogs are worth nothing. I was kind of laughing after I stopped the video. It was less than four silver for the trophy frog. The roaches add up. We've got 10 silver for that trophy and uh, add up to 55 silver with, with very little fishing at all. Um, so for a low level player, that is not bad. We already filled one, one uh, roach order from when we were fishing from frogs. Um, I think we've got low enough. So anyway, trophy roach, it's a lot of fun. All right, thanks for watching. I'm guessing we'll be looking at perch sometime in the next few days, unless a new river comes out, we'll see. All right, thanks, see you next time.